The six of us entered the Wind River Range from the northwest. Uh, that square top mount in the background, this is the Green River Lakes entrance. We hiked um, southeast uh, along this trail in the valley, that square top mountain, or flat top mountain rather, there in the background. We didn't climb that one. Uh, I'm embarrassed to say I don't remember the names of uh, f what three of the other people who were with us. Um, Ron and Cindy were my buddies from Chicago, uh, and the the others were friends of theirs. It was a long time ago, so I don't remember their names. Okay, that's Cindy on the left and Ron in the center. Uh, we'd gone on many backpacking trips together, including Ellesmere Island. Uh, we'd had a little moisture, so we were drying out our sleeping bags and tents uh, when the sun came out the next time. That's Square Top Mountain again. Looks hard to climb, but there's actually a gully up one side that uh, makes it pretty straightforward scramble. As we got higher, um, you can see that the tops of all the mountains are basically form a, a high plain, high plateau, and that the mountains are actually carved downward out of the, the uh, water that's running between them and Green River and other tributaries and so forth. It's a very attractive area, and the weather usually is quite nice there. That's Cindy in the foreground on a rest stop. Beautiful day, and we had lots of nice days like this. Very pleasant place to be. There were lots of uh, cliffs and you got um, good elevation fairly quickly and quite spectacular views. Um, and so you, you can see here that there's, uh, I'm sort of standing near the edge of a cliff looking pretty far down. So it's very impressive. I really like this area quite a bit. We've uh, scrambled up that gully and off here straight ahead of us is the summit of um, Square Top mountain and um, it was a very easy scramble to get to the top too and the uh, it's a very very you know it's a large flat summit with a big boulder field um, and you did get really nice views of everything around from there
Here's a view from uh, up high on Square Top Mountain, looking back north and uh, northwest in the direction we'd come up the valley, back toward Green River and Green River Lakes. That's Shauna the dog. She was a great, great, really smart German Shepherd, belonged to Cindy. Um, she liked to swim in these lakes and it wasn't too frigid, so we were able to do a little recreation up there. Here comes Cindy with her heavy pack. She was tough. And um, my lanky friend Ron, who was a tall string bean kind of guy, but he could carry a lot of weight. And he was, he had the experience that uh, got me going into these types of activities. Even though I thought he was nuts for doing it initially, I really appreciated the, the trials he put me through on these trips. I enjoyed them a lot. As evening uh, came close and we settled in for a campsite that night, it gets a little chilly and uh, this is fairly, I think, reasonably high altitude um, up here where I can't remember exactly, it's a ballpark 10,000 feet or so, so it got kind of chilly at night. But there were lots of activities in it. You could sort of pick any one of these little mountains around the side and. Uh, and uh, take a little hike up those and see what, what could be seen. Notice the different colors of the, of the water here. It's a little bit more snow runoff. As we get higher on some of these mountains, the uh, snow and ice become a little more apparent. It's not heavily uh, uh, snow field or anything, but it's, uh, there, I don't think there are any glaciers here particularly, but there are nice permanent snow fields, even though it's a fairly uh, balmy climate in general. So there's a little summit shot on, shot on top of that one we were aiming for with very nice views, kind of windy to be expected, but nice, easy scramble with quite spectacular views. Okay, I could be mistaken. This kind of looks like a glacier to me, so there probably were some in there. I see what look, look to be crevasses. Um, they weren't apparent uh, very often, but we guess we did see some up there. So here we are scrambling up to the top of another one. There were lots of little things to play on up there with nice views.
Now, my belief is this lake is probably Granite Lake, and Granite Peak is the mountain that's just disappeared off to the left. Here's a little time-lapse sequence as the sun is setting. A little rest on one of our scrambles. That's Ron. He took a lot of very nice pictures. We did not hesitate to uh, carry lots of heavy camera gear on any of these trips. This movie camera was very light, that wasn't a problem. It was the 10 pounds of 35 millimeter camera with several lenses. That was a much uh, heftier deal, but we weren't willing to sacrifice because we wanted to take nice pictures. By arrangement, um, the first part of our trip ended and um, Beth brought our young son, Douglas, here he is, uh, with uh, her parents, Bernie and Carol Jean, and uh, we spent a lot of time playing plunk. Douglas really enjoyed filling up this lake with rocks and there were luckily, there was a large supply of rocks, so he never tired of this activity. Typically early in the morning, as soon as the sun hit the tent, he wanted to get going, so we uh, we played plunk with him quite a bit. We enjoyed his wind-up. He had a particular style where he'd grab a rock in each hand and kind of do a wind-up pitch. To uh, throw, there he goes, wind-up, and then finally a pitch. He was still in diapers at this point. We had to wait until after Labor Day to have a fire to burn the remnants of his paper diapers and pick out all the plastic parts and pack that part out. But uh, it was about the right ratio to have um, four sympathetic adults to one toddler um, to keep him out of trouble. We were obviously very concerned that he might just walk off a cliff or drown in the lake or something, so we watched him pretty carefully. Here he goes with his big wind up again. Also, the elevation is pretty high here, so we had to kind of be careful about sunburn. We don't have a hat on him at the moment, but we usually kept one on. There he goes with his wind-up. And pitch. Like that wrist action. Here's Bernie on the right with his big floppy hat. He'd had some altitude... Uh, headaches earlier and we took a nice, I forget the name of this big structure, but it's quite a lovely uh, big hunk of, hunk of rock that we went past. 
Now, for this part, we entered from the south, from the big sandy lake entrance at the south of the Wind Rivers. Um, so we're starting seeing a totally different environment. There's Bernie on the left, Carol Jean, his wife, and Beth's mom, and Douglas and Beth. So uh, we had a nice few days there. We had a herd of sheep run through our campground at one point. Some of the local ranchers just let their sheep run wild up here. Um, and we had to be very careful about drinking water because uh, Giardia was a distinct possibility with all the livestock that kind of meandered through. Here's Douglas in his diapers getting his feet wet in the cold water. Took Bernie several days to get over his uh, headaches from the altitude. Gained altitude fairly fast there. I think we went up to about 10,000 feet from driving in in a matter of a, a day's drive. So it, we didn't have a lot of time to uh, acclimate. And thus ends our trip. I'm sorry this second section wasn't longer. <laughs>